Hey everyone, welcome to my airplane shooter series. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a shooter like this. In the shooter, you can see we can shoot these enemies right here. Some of them are following us and some of them are just waving around kind of to just on their way. I don't know where they're going, but you can see we just got a nitro power up that makes us move really fast, wave complete. In the game, you can click on the upgrades and you can upgrade different parts of your airplane. So maybe you wanted to be a healer airplane instead of a shooter and these enemies are about to kill me, no. All right, we're in Scratch. Let's rename our project to Airplane Shooter Aeroplane. Imagine you spell aeroplane like that. This is not an airplane. Let's go to the costumes and let's delete the first costume and let's also delete. We're gonna be drawing our own airplane. Later, I'll provide you with some assets, but for now, let's just click on the rectangle tool, change the fill to dark blue. Okay, and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle on the screen. And we give it some wings. <laughs> we give it a tail. And yeah, I know it looks terrible. We'll fix that later. Let's select everything on the stage and let's press group. Now let's move the airplane to the center of the screen. It should snap just like that. All right, let's go to the code. And we first need to reset the position of our airplane. Let's go to events. When the green flag is clicked, Let's set the size to 100 and let's go to X minus 150 and Y zero. So that should, if we press the green flag, it should go to the left side of the screen. Now we need the airplane to follow the mouse and we can use that with the point towards mouse pointer block. Let's drag that out. And since we always want to face towards the mouse, let's put a forever loop around that. Our airplane should be facing towards the mouse. Now we just need the airplane to move along with the mouse. So that's pretty simple. Go to motion. Let's drag out and move 10 steps. So when we press the green flag, you see the airplane is following the mouse, but we want it to stay on the left side of the screen. So that way we can aim at enemies that are moving from the right. Let's go down and let's drag out set X to minus 150. When we press the green flag, there we go. You'll see the airplane is now on the left side of the screen. So if you wanted to change the speed, you wanted to make the airplane move faster, you could double the speed perhaps. And now we're moving 20 steps, that's twice the speed. But I like mine at 10 steps. Okay, so now we just need the airplane to shoot. All right, and since we didn't rename the sprite, let's call this airplane since no, it doesn't look like one, but it is an airplane. We need the bullet. Let's paint the sprite. Let's call it bullet. And for now, let's just use the circle tool. Like I said, I'll be providing you with some art that you can use. All right, so let's move the circle into the middle of the screen. There we go. Let me change the color. Maybe something bright red. Let's go to the code. So we want to shoot the bullets every time we click on the mouse. Let's go to events and let's drag out one green flag clicked. We first need to detect if the mouse is down. So let's drag out our forever loop. So we're always detecting if mouse down, then let's go to control. Let's drag out create clone of myself. Now we just need the bullet to start at the airplane and we need it to shoot out to start moving. So to do that, let's drag out when I start as a clone, we need to go to the motion and drag out go to airplane. Now let's go to control. Let's drag out a repeat until we want to keep on moving until we touch the edge. So let's drag out delete this clone and put it after. Let's go to sensing and drag out touching edge. And here we just want to move 10 steps. Now there's one problem. You'll see this bullet on the screen not doing anything. That's the main bullet. And since the bullet is not a clone, it's not going to be moving. Let's go to looks and we just want to hide the main bullet but we want the clones of the bullets to show. So let's drag out a show block. All right, so let's click. You'll see we create some bullets. If I'm facing up and I shoot a bullet, the bullet is still going straight to the right. So we want the airplane to be able to aim the bullets. So what we want to do, let's go to motion and let's drag out the point in direction 90. Now we're going to go to sensing category and let's drag out Let's scroll down, backdrop number of stage. Let's put that inside of 90. What we want to do is click on the drop down next to stage, change it to airplane. You'll see this drop down changes. So we want this to be direction of airplane. 
Now when we press the green flag, you'll see the bullets are kind of aiming in the way we want it to. Okay, so we can also change the speed of the bullets, maybe 20 or 30. I'll change it to 25. So there we go, those are the bullets. Now you'll see if we hold down the mouse, that makes a stream of bullets. Now, that would be impossible. That would make the game way too easy and the enemies would just be destroyed every time they go onto the screen. So we want to wait a little bit until we create the next bullet. What we want to do, go to okay, control and let's drag out wait 0.3 seconds. So now there should be a delay in between each bullet. All right, so now that we have the bullets, let's put up some little enemies on the screen that are just gonna be following the player. Okay, since we have this airplane sprite right here already drawn, it's beautiful, right? Let's right click and duplicate it and let's call it enemy. Okay, we want enemies to start on the right side of the screen. So instead of minus 150, let's put in 240, which is all the way to the right. And instead of point towards mouse pointer, let's change it to point towards airplane. And let's drag out the set X to minus 150. Let's change this to move five steps. So when the airplane starts, the enemy should be moving towards the player. Just want to differentiate the enemy from the player. Let's go to the costumes. Let's click on the fill bucket tool and let's change the color to red. So that way we know this enemy is bad. All right, so right now there's only one enemy on the screen. Starts following the player. Um, we want more enemies to start spawning. So let's drag out this point towards airplane, move five steps. Let's go to control and let's drag out when I start as a clone. This block is only going to run once. So let's drag out a repeat until, and we want to repeat until we want the enemy to keep on moving until it touches the bullet. So let's go to sensing and drag out touching. After we touch the bullet, we just want to destroy the enemy. So let's drag out delete this clone. We have the clone code, but we need to create the clone. So let's drag out, wait one seconds. Let's change it to 0.5 maybe. And let's drag out create clone of myself. All right, so let's press the green flag. You'll see, there we go. There goes a stream of enemies. I can take them all out. Boom. I just want to make the enemies spawn from random positions on the screen. So from the right all the way to the bottom. That's pretty easy. Let's go to motion and let's drag out, go to random position. We're going to be putting this under when I start as a clone. After we've gone to a random position, we want to move the airplane to the right side of the screen. Set X to 240 to press the green flag. So you see this enemy spawn from the bottom. These enemies are spawning from the top and they're all random positions. One last thing, you'll see the enemy main sprite is on the screen. We want it to be hidden. So we're gonna do like we did in the bullet code. We're going to hide after when green flag clicked and show when I start as a clone. So let's do that now. When green flag clicked, let's hide. When I start as a clone, let's show. All right, everyone. So this is the basis of our airplane shooter. In the next tutorial, we're going to add health to the enemies and both the player, and we're going to add some different art, as well as maybe sound effects and even a background and later upgrades. So everyone, make sure you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys.